Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds in the Bantamweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. With a matchup like this, Teddy, a boxer versus brawler, who do you really have more confidence in that they can pull off the win? You know, in one way, you could say the brawler because he's got that eraser. He could pull it out of the fire, but I'm going to go with the guy who's probably more rounded athletically has to do more things because he didn't have that great gift of power. He's had to learn to do other things. And if he's forced to fight in the spot and those other things aren't working, he may have to do that. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Good defensive skill. Holding on. Get in there! Get in there! Parries that punch away. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice block. Grabbing on to his opponent. Not able to land the uppercut. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. the mark well that was his intention and that's what he's doing not engaging in the fight but clinching good way to protect the midsection Seconds of round number one. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. I Needs to breathe. shorten him up. Just breathe, relax. How you feeling out there? <laughs> now, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, all right? Here we go. Round two is underway. His target in mind, but just missed. One, two, one, two. Still not moving enough. Move, move. 
early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Way through this round here. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Comes with the right. That wasn't able to land. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Number three is underway. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Ties up on the inside. Able to dismiss that body shot. Try to go downstairs, but off target. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Just missed scoring with that punch. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Good job protecting himself. Missed that uppercut. Left hand able to land. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Move your head. That was.
goes off the mark. Big left hand. Take it off. Hey, stay with me here. Finish with the hook. Keep pushing. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He's gonna come forward. He's gonna... Keep that yeah moving. Keep him away from it. All right. I need you to keep moving. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. You're looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Well, if anything has been learned from the first three rounds, is that sometimes just being the busier fighter will do well for you. And that's the case right now for him as he's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, not always landing a lot. You put it very well, Joe. Not always landing a lot. But keeping his opponent defensive and keeping him from doing what he wants to do. Oh, what an exchange! Able to cover up that gut. I don't want to criticize him too much, Teddy, because by going defensive here after being stunned, hey, this might be the right strategy to employ. As long as he doesn't stay with it too long. It's the right strategy to employ right now at this moment. But if you're going to win the fight, you have to find a way quickly down the road to get back to where you can score points and survive and be responsible defensively. Way through round number four. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. And he engages in the clinch. Move your head! Levante la cabeza! Keep moving! Keep moving! Final 10 seconds. That's okay, Dad. Go. No, he missed that right. Okay, you're doing fine. But listen to me. We gotta do a little more. We have to pull ahead of this round, okay? Here you I go. Need... Listen to me. I need you to keep busy. I need more than one punch now. This fight is even. So I need to see more than one punch out there. Okay, listen. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. 
Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Stairs and was off the mark. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. But he didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. <laughs> that punch just close. Turns on that exchange. Just misses with that headshot. Ten clicks of the talk. Hey, gotta see that come in. Let's go. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's Keep bright moving. inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Showing you some defense there with the block. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Off the mark there. Supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments.
Just missed with that punch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Distance is such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot at. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Wow, nice flush left hand. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to track. Oh, and there you go. He is down. Now, can he beat the count? question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Working our way towards the bell. Last Keep 10 seconds the of the sixth. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight. And I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab bumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight. He's almost done. You had him that round. In corner, You're in us. control. Next round, let's keep easy. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. One, two, Gets one, rid of that effort. That's it, just like that. Shake it off. again missing more punches now i like a guy that throws punches teddy but at some point you gotta do he is damaged badly there he may hit the look at that oh and now the real test can he get up after going down a second time So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Hit the body. He's going to need to dig deep right now, because what we're seeing here is a fighter who's fading right in front of our eyes. Well, he's going to need a shovel to go that deep. the halfway point of round seven. Big shot, the left crashed home. Boy, he was damaged, but now big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great batting. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Three, four, five, six. Fight is over on knockout, unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. 
he ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.